The Bear River High School will be having an open house Monday, October 11th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. The public will be free to wander the school at their own pace while Bear River High School staff answers questions. The natatorium may be part of the open house as well. Gary Allen, the principal at Bear River High School, recently took members of the Kiwanis Club on a tour to show them what changes have been made. Each of the offices on both sides uh, have a, a, a nice conference room and then uh, counseling offices down the hallway there. Uh, we have some room for growth. That's one of the things that's continually asked. Uh, we hope to be able to eventually have a, a, a guidance counselor here just specifically for careers that will eventually, there's some curriculum through the state that provides that funding to do that. We're not big enough yet, but uh, you can see just behind here we have a scholarship board. We have just a lot of opportunities now to interact with kids. Specifically, they can come on this side and do scholarships, career direction, anything. One of the things we wanted to do is to try and have a more of a multi-purpose use room. So this we call a presentation room. This is set up for uh, wireless computer access. Uh, it will have an LCD projector screen. It has uh, audio enhancement, so we can have faculty meetings, we can have group meetings in here, which uh, it also is now going to be a training room for the north end of the county with the school district for staff development. So this is kind of where the old ties in with the new. Get some bearings there. Construction started June 16th of 2008 and is still a work in progress. There is not much left and it will be finished no later than August of 2011. With the 25.2 million bond that Bear River High School received, they will be able to complete all that was promised without cutting any corners. really super big. By doing the big commons area, we just expand our, our seating area up to the commons area. So you can kind of see we've got to fill into the will. We'll fill all of those when we have lunch today. It is wonderful. We are feeding like 100 to 150 more kids, and I think they've got so much more room and stay mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I love about the kitchen, the kids. They're so polite and good and wonderful. And the lunch ladies are wonderful that I work with. Before construction, most elementary schools had bigger cafeterias than the high school. Now, the high school's commons and cafeteria are functional areas with inviting atmospheres where students can hang out. And that's going to be on this side, uh, and then the team for the boys' locker rooms are down below. So that will be phase three, and that starts the minute basketball season is over. This is used for our dance classes during the day, and then we have cheerleading, and then we have our drill team. That, that use it. Uh, not being a dancer myself, but they say the mirrors are huge for what they try and do and for their competitions and things. So the this, social dance groups and all the dance yes. classes except, are in here. Uh -huh. Except our social dance classes become so big that they have to move back to the, to the gym. Oh, okay. because obviously, but this is allowed, this will make it so there will be two full mats in here. This is another multi-purpose room uh, in the fall right now. We're using it for, for some PE activities, also for uh, team meetings for football and, and things like that. This is the, uh, this was, the original drawings for this was to be uh, two rooms. One side would be for aerobic equipment and then one for the weightlifting. We had the opportunity to say, no, let's just do it all one uh, as we, do better on learning how to use our space. Uh, we can do some aerobic stuff in here. There's a real interest for an indoor facility that could meet a lot of needs, and specifically with uh, wet springs that we have had over the last several years. Uh, we can't ever get out and play uh, soccer and baseball. Softball, they couldn't even touch the field. So uh, The Bear Center is a multiple-use facility similar to an indoor track and field house and there is not another one like it anywhere. This building has been a boost competitively for sports, especially those played in the spring. Construction created problems for students and staff, but accommodations were made. Allen said the students were great to deal with these challenges, 
We knew what the end product would be, and we made it work. Alan said this building sends a statement about the importance of academics and the high quality education that Bear River High School can offer. The kids have a facility to be proud of, and it will be a showcase of the community for a long time. Reporting with the Tremont Leader, this is Jessica Tanner.